Welcome to another video in which I'm going to teach you some strategies that you can use with your students or with your children. So one of the things that I got a lot of throughout my teaching career is questions about how my child or how my student can build their fact fluency in mathematics. There's a lot of different strategies out there. And one of the strategies that I want to talk with you about has a foundational basis. And that's called fact families. And just like real families with people, numbers too interact in their own ways. And I want to be able to share with you first fact families, and then I also want to share with you a really cool strategy that only takes a few minutes a day that can really help build that fact fluency and strengthen their number sense. Okay, so what I wanted to show you right here is an example of a fact family. So if we are taking three numbers, 6, 8, and 14, this is a fact family. These three numbers interact with each other. Here are four different ways that they interact with each other. And these are different ways that you can look at 6, 8, and 14. For example, you can look at 6 and 8 as two add-ins in these two addition equations. 6 plus 8 equals a sum of 14, or 8 plus 6 equals a sum of 14. You can also look at it from a subtraction equation, such as 14 minus 8 equals 6, or 14 minus 6 equals 8. And here are your two differences. Now, why is this so important, fact family, when I'm learning number sense? Well, here's how you can practice strengthening your number sense, is by understanding what these two do to get that sum. And even if you use it as a turnaround fact, these two, in this order, get this fact. And once students understand that, that even when you switch the numbers, the add-ins in the equation, you still get the same sum. This is very important. So what you can do is you can practice addition and subtraction strategies with this fact family. And this is what you use. This is called a fact triangle. Fact triangles have been around for a long, long time. Now what's really cool about this fact triangle is you would put numbers in each corner of this triangle. And then you would use the fact triangle by covering up different numbers for students to demonstrate different facts from this fact family. So I have a group of fact triangles where I'm going to show you how this is broken down. Now the creation of a fact triangle is very simple. It looks just like this. Voila. So right here you can see the sum is at the top. Notice the dot indicates the largest number, the sum, and your two add-ins are down here. Or if I was subtracting and I covered the 8, then this 8 would be one of the differences. Or I could cover the 6. And what the student would be doing is telling you out loud 14 minus 8 equals 6. Or 14 minus 6 equals 8. Or 6 plus 8 equals 14. Or 8 plus 6 equals 14. So fact triangles are pretty cool. I've seen a lot of students do these in a lot of different ways. It is very, very important for the student to be able to understand this, but more importantly, to be able to create their own fact triangles themselves. For example, here's a whole bunch right here. You can find these anywhere all over the internet. Or you can make them yourself. What I encourage you to do, now for the sake of this video, I just want to print these out and show these myself. Very easy to make. You can make just the triangle template and have the student fill in 
the numbers. So as you see right there, they can cover the 7 and practice addition, cover one of the smaller bottom numbers and practice subtraction. This is a phenomenal strategy. A couple minutes at a time does not take that long. They can practice one triangle at a time, or you can do a couple. And they can also explore similar sums, and they can compare and contrast the relationships. So there is a myriad of, of, um, of capabilities that you can do with the fact triangles. A lot of my students really got into it and they started getting scrapbook paper and actually getting different shades of scrapbook paper and making their fact triangles. Uh, one student used a whole rainbow, of, um, it was a rainbow scrapbook page and put these different facts on there. And she was so engaged and she was strengthening her number sense while remaining engaged in the activity. And it only takes a couple minutes a day. So, hope this video was helpful, guys. Hit the like. And I'll be sharing more and more awesome strategies with you guys to help your student or help your child grow to their fullest potential. Thanks.